Welcome to video four. In this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook groups. I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples and then explain a little bit on how to get free traffic to them. Uh, they're a little bit more difficult than Facebook pages to grow, but they get way better click through rates, uh, way more engagement, and you'll just make more money using them than Facebook pages. Now they each have their own place, but let's jump into this and I will show you the examples first. So most of these groups are closed, so I couldn't join them. So I'm going to be showing you the examples from outside and kind of showing you what you can do with them. So first example is Shopify entrepreneurs. So people who want to sell on Shopify, learn about Shopify. As you know, the online education space, like courses and whatnot, is very big. There's a lot of people in that, a lot of people spending money on it. So it's one of my favorites to, if you can get affiliate links for those type of things, uh, it's usually pretty easy. Most people have courses. So for something like this, you could promote different tools for Shopify. I know there's a ton of paid ones. Um, how to calculate your expenses, calculate profit, um, affiliate links for courses, any of those. Now, I can't see what's going on in this group, but you can see tons of people interested. With this kind of group, I would post free information on kind of what I'm doing, what's working, and let other people share. So in this group, I wouldn't make myself the only one allowed to post. I would let other people, and then, but you do have to moderate it. That's the thing that sucks with groups is all the people spamming. So that might take a little time. That's why usually I only let myself post. Um, but on this, I might start with that and then let others, and if it doesn't go well, go back to myself. So that's what you could do kind of with an education page for this one. Shopify entrepreneurs, you can make about anything. Uh, just look up some tips and just start posting them. You don't have to be an expert in it. None of these, you have to be an expert. You can just Google stuff and learn it. So this page is terrible. This is exactly what not to do. Called it Young Entrepreneurs. He's got a thousand people in here. It's okay. I have no idea what's going on here, guys. He's posting his food. Okay, because that's what... Uh, let us be the answer to your questions. What's for dinner? Okay, that's great content for me. I'm getting a lot of value from this. Vault tomorrow night, everyone. $3. Okay, uh, I don't even know what that means. No link. Um, you live in the moment. Prom? Adult prom? Okay, I'm confused as to what's going on on this page. Zero value, just promoting random crap. Going live, city buzzing. Okay, so he's promoting clubs. And then a random girl with a waist trainer, which it doesn't look like it's working to me. But, okay, we're smoking some now. Okay, good. Oh, a freestyle. That's good, because it's fire. So that's probably one of the worst pages I've ever seen. Just wanted to throw that in there for you guys so you see what not to do. Um, as you can see, most of these people have rules in their group, which you will want. Uh, this group is for couponing. Now, this is a great one. You can get affiliate links to anything. You can find tons of websites with coupons, so you can just kind of share the same ones in your group. Now, these people do have a blog that they promote outside of this and a YouTube channel, which is the way to go. Now, with this group, you can see they have tons of people. How many do they have? I think they 70,000, almost 71. Now, let's say 1% of these people buy. So, 700 people, no, 70 people, can I do math? We'll just say 70. 70 people buy every time you post a coupon. Um, let's say you get $3 each one, you just made $210. You post twice a day, and you're making 420 bucks a day. Now, obviously, that's a smaller example. You can grow up more than that. This is a big page. You don't need a big page in order to make money. But she's just posting coupons from, oh, I found some at Target, I found some at CVS. Just different things. Very simple, very easy. I like the coupon ones. There are a lot of them. So if you're going to do it this route, differentiate yourself. You can make them about anything, kind of as I said in the intro video to this module. Um, the pages, the groups, they're pretty similar, used for slightly different things. But let's jump in to how to grow, how to get the free traffic, how to grow your group, kind of everything to do for it. So... First things first, you need to find your niche. What are you going to promote? Uh, are you going to be coupons? Are you going to be a hobby? Are you going to be health and fitness? Uh, online education? Figure that out. Uh, I like to do stuff that's not too competitive but can grow pretty well. Um, grilling, uh, couponing, different stuff is generally pretty competitive. But there's always room because people are in multiple groups. So for coupons, they want to get all the coupons. So they're in like six different groups. So completely up to you. I always make my group closed. Now, this makes people want to jump in more and ask to be accepted because they think there's good content in there. 
you keep a lot of spamming out, especially when you, you'll have to kick people. There's always spamming trolls. That's what all these rules are for. But I like to keep mine closed. It makes people with, wonder what's in there, so you get more people to um, join. Now, as far as creating the group, what are you going to want? You're going to want a great description. This is what people see before they join. So this is going to have to explain exactly what your group is about, why you created it, what's the purpose of it, and maybe how people can benefit. So that's pretty simple. You see they just put rules. I'd put a little bit more about, make it feel more personal. Saving money one coupon at a time. Okay. Now they have a pretty bad cover photo. Uh, you're going to want one that describes more what you're doing, higher quality, maybe some more images in there. It's very plain and boring. But attractive picture, um, cover photo. Now what I like to do is in my groups when someone joins, I have a welcome message pinned at the top. Kind of tell them a little bit myself, uh, talking about myself, what the group is for, how they'll benefit, what to expect, tell them to please be active in the group, help others, tell them the rules. So that'll be pinned at the top of my group. So let's talk about getting people into the group initially once you start. When you start one, you have zero people in there. What do you do? I had all my friends first no matter what. But one of the things I like to do, it could be a little spammy so you have to watch what you're doing. Don't just randomly add people to your group. Um, groups, how they're... In, like how much engagement they get. So if you add a thousand people who don't want to be in your group and you get one like a post, it's going to look bad. You're not getting good engagement um, percentage-wise for how many people are in your group. So Facebook won't promote your group as much. So you want good engagement even if you have less members in there. So that'll help your group grow. So don't just add random people. What I like to do is go into similar groups, add some of those people as friends, maybe message them with my group, or even give them an invitation to join my group, not just add them. Invite them to join my group. Uh, you can send them a DM if you want, if you have time. I think it takes so much time. I just send them an invitation to my group. It's pretty simple. Now, most of these other ways aren't going to be on Facebook. You can go always like people's posts in other groups. If your name is Couponing101, they might check you out. So that's a simple way to do it, but don't get your account banned. Don't be too spammy. Now, you can go in... Um, to these other groups and find the admin and message them once you grow a little bit. Let's say you both have a thousand members and you can kind of cross promote each other's group. Now that's pretty effective, especially if it's in the same niche. If it's not, it's pretty much useless. So make sure you find someone in the same niche as you with a pretty engaged following, kind of just like Instagram. You can promote your group on any of your social medias. Um, I like to have a YouTube channel for it and then promote it from there. I like to have all of them. I like to have the page, the group, the YouTube channel, and the blog review site, which we'll get to later. But you can cross promote it on all of that, and when you have those, you will be building an email list at the same time, which you can promote this group to. Now, people will join groups pretty easily normally, because it doesn't cost them anything. They feel safe when your group's closed. It's not too difficult to get people in groups if you find the right people. You can look up different interests, so up here, Let's say, let's go back to Facebook, and let's say, what were we doing? Couponing. We'll go up to couponing, and then maybe we look at posts. So, anyone in a couponing, maybe we'll add Sean and see if he wants to join our group. We will add, we'll just go down, okay. You find other groups this way, too, so if you want to cross-promote or add people in there. But I like to find individuals. You can add them as friends. You can add them to the group. You can comment, hey, we have a group for this if you're looking for more deals, blah, blah, blah. You can look at posts, people, anything. These are going to be irrelevant for this, but all different groups. You can see similar groups and whatnot. But that's another great way. That's probably my favorite way to do this. Another way is to target influencers with your group. So maybe once you have a 1,000 followers, maybe a decent amount, I find an influencer on Facebook, or they can be on YouTube, but have a Facebook page, and I share their posts if they're relevant to my niche. Now, what that will do, that person might now join my group and even promote it for me. Maybe not, but they might be in my group, see my stuff if they find value. They're going to share it with their following because they're trying to provide value and do the same thing I'm doing. So that's another good way. Just repost, share their stuff. Now, lastly, this way isn't free. Um, I don't do this much, but you can run a Facebook ad for your group. You can't straight do it. So what you do is on your Facebook page, you make a post with a link to your group, maybe describing it, and then you boost that post and you can run a Facebook ad that way. That's really the only way to do it free. You can't 
straight produce or straight advertised groups. But I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.